Dr. Llewellyn, if I were to ask you, what is the main difference between grown by nature or renatured vitamins? What is the difference between that and what you buy at the store? How? What's the simplest answer you could give us, or, or the main answer which... I can give you? And um, thank you for letting me do so. Simplest answer I can give you is these are foods, complete foods, um, like uh, organic foods. If you buy the normal chemical thing that's called natural, you're buying a drug. And it's as simple as that. And many of the vitamins and minerals that are sold at the health food store are sold by pharmaceutical companies. They are literally drugs. They're all made by pharmaceutical companies. Right. And so if you want to buy something that is not made by a pharmaceutical company, that's why we have brought you and that's why we've looked for the very best out there and it's grown by nature. And uh, I just hope that people will look at this seriously, understand that if they're going to take something, and I always say, if you're going to take a pill, make sure it is the absolute best pill you can be taking. And that's why we do the homework here at the Power Hour, and we decided on grown by nature. Very wise. Uh, you want me... to talk about calcium? Please. I'll be very brief. The largest boned mammal on the planet is the elephant, which consumes about 2,000 milligrams a day of calcium as calcium. It's in tiny little bits in a food matrix. That's how the calcium gets to the elephant's bones. When women are told to take calcium, they're told to take 1,500 milligrams a day. The question comes, why aren't their legs three-quarters as thick as the elephant's? And the answer is because calcium carbonate doesn't work. Look at the back of the packet. There's about 40 different types of calcium. If you take the calcium carbonate, which is the biggest selling one on the planet, then that will only deplete women's bones of calcium, as been uh, represented by several studies in America recently. In fact, for legal reasons, they had to be stopped. So that is my very brief introduction to calcium. And because the food form of calcium has its delivery route, you do not need very much. We tracked Paget's disease with patients for five years which is a very, very um, nasty bone cancer. The only form of calcium that went to bone tissue density was the food-grown form. 